Leaders of a controversial Williamson County church have lost a bid to prove two of their members innocent of murder. And this ruling from the Georgia Supreme Court comes three years after Joseph and Sonia Smith were sentenced to life in prison for the beating death of their eight-year-old son. The child's death put the focus on how the Remnant Fellowship taught its members to discipline their children. Tonight, our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams, looks at the court's decision. Well, give me a second to get the fries on the table. This video obtained by News Channel 5 Investigates shows Joseph and Sonia Smith just a month before prosecutors say the Atlanta couple killed their eight-year-old son, Joseph. Their church, the Brentwood-based Remnant Fellowship, and its founder, Christian diet guru Gwen Shamblin, have waged a vigorous campaign in their defense, even putting up a website called The Smiths Are Innocent. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. Yet in reviewing their 2007 murder convictions, the Georgia Supreme Court has now ruled in a 5-2 decision that the Smiths are indeed guilty. The court wrote, the record reveals that Joseph and Sonia Smith routinely disciplined their son Joseph by beating him with glue sticks, belts, and he did coat hangers, locking him in confined spaces for extended periods of time and tying his hands with rope. Glue sticks are actually, you know, sort of common within the Remnant Fellowship culture to be used to, dis to physically dim discipline children. In fact, our investigation of the church's teachings also uncovered a tape in which Sonia Smith had bragged to Shamblin about how they had seen results from locking young Joseph in his bedroom for four days with just his Bible. This was Shamblin's reaction. And that's a miracle. You've got a child that's going from just bizarre down to in control. So I'll praise God. The remnant leader denied having said that. And you had a chance to tell her that was not correct. That was not on there. Instead, you said, praise the Lord. No, that was not on there. Happy birthday to you. Still a stunt in which prosecutors threw a mock birthday party for the dead child during closing arguments drew the ire of two justices who thought the Smiths deserved a new trial. One wrote, the prosecutor stunt was intended to evoke sympathy for the victim so that the jury diverted from the facts would return a verdict based on passion, not the evidence and the law. But in the end, the Smith's trial attorney testified that he did not object to that fake birthday party because he thought it was so outrageous that it might turn the jury against the prosecution. The Georgia Supreme Court ruled that was a reasonable expectation, a reasonable tactic. Any reaction from the church itself? Well, you know, t today I did reach out to church leaders for comment, but so far they just not have not responded to my uh, inquiries. All right. Thanks, Phil. Now, if you want to see our original investigation of Joseph Smith's death, just go to our website at newschannel5.com. And if you know of something we should investigate, send your tips to investigate at newschannel5.com.